हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स ग्रो आई होप यू आर वेरी वेल एंड डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ सो टू डेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज लेक टाइम दैट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लेक टाइम एंड हाउ इट इज कैलकुलेटेड फॉर अ गिवन हाइड्रोग्राफ सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन इट इज द टाइम फ्रॉम सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ एक्सिस रेनफॉल to the center of mass of direct run of hydrograph so lake time is a time period between the center of mass of axis rainfall and the center of mass of direct run of hydrograph so in the later slide we will use a figure for the better understanding of this statement for the physical meaning you you can understand that lake time is a time period whenever the peak precipitation or maximum precipitation is happening to the maximum discharge or we can say peak discharge is observed at the outlet of catchment so what our general belief is that whenever precipitation is maximum at the same time we will get the maximum discharge but this is not the case because water takes some time to travel in the catchment so there is some lag in the time whenever you get the maximum precipitation and when you get the maximum discharge so how much time it will take between the maximum precipitation is happening to the maximum discharge we are getting to the outlet this is called the lag time because the time is lagging between the maximum precipitation is happening to the maximum discharge we are observing at the outlet it represents the position of runoff hydrograph with respect to the rainfall causing the runoff so basically it will show the position of runoff hydrograph with respect to the rainfall causing the runoff so the position of maximum peak of rainfall to the maximum peak of runoff discharge will be based on the lake time one estimate of lake lake time as given by nrcs which is natural resources conservation service is that lake time is equal to 0.6 times of time of concentration time of concentration we have discussed in our last video so if you did not watch that video i will request you to watch that video so simply you can calculate the lake time is equal to the 0.6 times of time of concentration so here we are having this figure so let's try to understand that how and what is the lag time so here we are having the precipitation with the time that how precipitation is is increasing with respect to the time and there is a time when we will get the peak rainfall so here you can see this is the peak rainfall and due to the this rainfall event at the outlet of the catchment there will be discharge and this discharge is constant here and as the precipitation is occurring it will increase increased with time and it will attain some peak discharge and later on it will decrease so this increasing of discharge is represented by this rising limb and this decrease in discharge is represented by the falling limb so here we are getting the peak discharge so this is the time period between the when we are getting the peak rainfall peak rainfall is here and when when we are getting the peak discharge peak discharge is here so if you measure the time period between the peak rainfall and peak discharge it will give the lag time for that watershed and given precipitation event so i hope you understand this and uh, one more thing i would like to explain that why it is called as lag time because our general belief is says that whenever we are getting the peak rainfall the same time we should get the peak discharge but this is not the case because the water needs some time to travel in the catchment so this time is lagged by the catchment characteristics so here whenever this peak rainfall is happening it will take some time to reach at the outlet so that it contribute to the 
peak discharge so i hope you understand the concept of lake time if you find this video informative you can hit that like button subscribe our channel let's grow for more informative video thank you so much to watch this lesson till the end okay take care